Good evening to you. Thanks so much for joining us for our Another Side of Special. I'm Trisha Mackey. Over the next half hour, you're going to learn more about well-known characters in our area and beyond. It's Halloween, a night full of candy and costumes for the kids, but also a night for believers of ghosts and hauntings to make their case. Have you ever heard of Bobby Mackey's? Legend has it this local country music bar in Wilder, Kentucky is haunted. The owner says he doesn't believe it. However, he refuses to step foot inside alone. Tonight, it's all about ghosts, country music, and a mechanical bull in another side of Bobby Mackey. I love what we do. The band and I play the music we love. And, uh, uh, it, it just it it just works. I mean, I knew it would from the beginning. I never doubted it uh, at all. Uh, Thirty-four years, and 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 uh, the beat goes on. The band and I play traditional country music, and that's what it's all about. When you're up on stage, are you just loving it? Oh yes, always. The passion for the music is what it's always been about. And then, of course, the business uh, you know takes care of itself. I've always been fortunate to have a lot of good people around me. Is Bobby Mackey's haunted? I don't think it is, but you know, I'm in the minority. The, the, uh, a lot of people do. And well, you've had you've, there. There's been a séance here. Uh, supposedly, a ghost beat up a guy in the bathroom. Um, stories of dogs jumping off stage. Pearl Bryant. Those kind of ghost kind of stories. Yeah, the Pearl Bryant story was really uh, uh, it happened near the turn of the century. Uh, and two guys were, were hung for that crime. They removed her head, and she was found 10 minutes from here, less than 10 minutes from here, in a, in a cow pasture right up, right up the road. And uh, they never did find her head. And this site was a slaughterhouse at the time, and they believed that the, her head was disposed of here at, at the slaughterhouse, and the, the, there's a well in the basement where they, they drained the blood from the slaughterhouse in the, under the railroad track and into the Licking River at that time. That was uh, like the crime of the century. It's pretty doggone interesting. I mean, it's yes. a, I mean, because you kind of like downplay it a little bit, the fact that, of this haunting, but I mean, it's got a lot of rich history. Whether or not you believe that there's ghosts walking around here beating people up or like the, the uh, a, a, a headless kind of haunting going on, there's something going on here. Do you ever write a country song about the hauntings or anything like that? Well, my name's Robert Randall Mackey. The Johanna story about the, the girl that had the Robert Randall uh, mm -hmm. Uh, boyfriend, well, he was singing here and, and her father didn't want her seeing this singer because he was just passing through and, and she kept, still kept seeing him and she became pregnant and then uh, they were going to run off together but her father had him killed and then she killed herself. So she's supposed to be here waiting for her Robert Randall to return. It didn't walk you. Yeah. Same guy, yeah. Do you honestly believe that? Because I keep hearing noises. <laughs> well, the building creaks, you know. I think I heard music back there. I'm like, wait, are we alone in here? If you had to summarize what Bobby Mackey's The Bar is all about, it's about ghosts, a bull, and some good music. You agree? Yes, yes. And, uh, and that mechanical bull coming along was, was very timely. Opened September the 8th, 1978. So they would, they would go to the box office and see the Urban Cowboy movie, and then they were to come running here, and we had lines on the street. Away from all of this, tell me just, give me like just a little short um, synopsis of who you are. Well, I, I, uh, I grew up in Lewis County, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, an hour and a half drive from here up, up to Double A. And uh, uh, raised on a farm, and, uh, and my dad ran a grocery store in the little town of Concord. My mom, is 93 and still lives in the house I was born in. I have two daughters, uh, five uh, grandchildren, two great-grandchildren. My wife of 42 years passed away three years ago. I remarried uh, last summer. And uh, of course, you know, through all of that, it's me and my band and the country music, and that's what makes me happy. Now, you know, just a few nights ago, I spent the night at Bobby Mackey's along with some ghost hunters to see if any of the talk about the ghosts and the hauntings hold water. Now, I cannot say nothing happened in there. It was freaky in there. I brought a rosary with me. My mom made me do it. And you can watch the story, decide for yourself. It's going to be on Monday night 
on the 10 o'clock news. I've gotten the chance to interview all